Yes. Brothers and Mocha on Kiss 92.5. We also say good morning to Mr. Dean Winters and Josh Jamal. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you for having us. Move that up for you right like that. Welcome That's back to perfect. Toronto, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. Just like being back in men's prison. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Don't, don't even. Don't entertain him. Don't, you ever heard such a ridiculous thing, Maury, describing a show <laughs> as a men's prison? <laughs> <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard worse. Food, <laughs> television. Food, get television. Get thrown in the hole. <laughs> He's like, what? It sounds fine. Uh, Battle Creek, this show is so not what I expected, but everything that I was kind of hoping for. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think a lot of people kind of think that they're feeling that way. Yeah, it's really like it's funny. And how did this, how did you both wind up on this show, Josh? Uh, did you want to do TV again? Because well, TV to me seems like a bit of a grind when you have like a new kid and all this well, stuff. Well, it is a grind, but that's part of the reason I wanted to do it because they were shooting it in LA. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Which was nice because I wanted, I didn't really want to miss anything. Yeah. Uh, and so I met with David Shore and Vince Gilligan. Yeah. And uh, they sort of explained to me what they saw the show being over the long haul. And uh, at first I wasn't sure because the character felt a little bit too perfect. Right. Too polished and by the book. But, you know, they assured me that, you know, as, as it goes, you're going to start seeing that this guy's a lot more than just that. Are you so a little bit more cautious uh, when you are choosing roles if you see the way the character is and you're like I don't know if I want to play that guy or I don't know if I can um, commit to those pers that personality right. of that person I think so yeah you have to be I mean if you're going to do a character that could potentially last five or six years you better you better really love it yeah you know uh, I mean? the show that you so Dean you're a cop in Battle Creek Michigan in this sort of falling apart police station yeah. that mm -hmm. you just have all the best intentions but you have no gear your stun guns have no batteries you want to get your ass kicked <laughs> by that you know what I mean yeah. uh, and then I'm, all, a, I'm a mess you're a yeah. mess yeah. and you're a mess and I and did they just because you're not an ugly dude Dean right yeah. do you think that they in, emphasize how good looking Josh is by purposely giving you a black eye in episode one just to sort of ugly you up a little bit so there was an even bigger contrast <laughs> oh, yeah, between no. the two of you when the good looking FBI well, agent well, shows well, up well, I get attacked by Rottweilers I get shot I get <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they did everything to make me not look like Josh. <laughs> uh, what do you guys like about the show? What is it about the show that made you want to do it, uh, be a part of it? I love that it wasn't uh, it's a typical procedural show. It, had, yeah. it was sort of a tongue-in-cheek version of what I think people are used to seeing. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't really interested in doing something where you, like Dean said, running a blue light over a pillow. You know, it was more like, you know, it's really about the different perspectives that we have on on not just work but life and you know he doesn't like me and you I, you find out as we go that my character doesn't really like him that much either uh and i think that it should stay that way because i think there's a lot of humor to be found in that yeah when you uh when you're gonna do a television show it's what's your what's your day like are you guys working is it like a regular sort of job like you go in every day and do this uh, it's, it's insane is it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i mean it, it, it you know it's basically I don't think we had a day that was under 14, 15 hours a day. But when somebody oh, will give you great money to go and do a movie where you work 40 days a year if you wanted to, well, yeah. what's the motivation to go into work every day and work 14 hours? Well, if, if you don't get offered movies, like I don't get offered movies, so I didn't have a freaking choice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta be able to take what we can get, man. It ain't that bad. It ain't like men's prison. <laughs> uh, Josh Jamal and Dean Winters are here. The show is called Battle Creek. It debuts at 10 o'clock this Sunday on Global. Uh, I will tell you guys this. I've watched three episodes already. Oh, nice. I love the show. Oh, cool. And I'm going to commit to this show. I'm the type of person that when I watch a show or a movie, I commit from beginning to end. Right. Josh. The one problem I have uh -oh. Uh -oh. is that back in 2003, I committed to the show Las Vegas, which you were in. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we it, let you down at the end. And then it? It, it ended in 2008, and I'm like, it's been seven years, and I can't let go, bro. Is there a chance, like, please, just to give me some sort of closure, that there will be, like, one episode just to wrap the whole thing up? Because I've been obsessing about this, man. Well, I, first of all, I appreciate you even recognizing that that happened because, you know, it, it wasn't exactly a show that people binge-watched. It was more or less girls in tight dresses, you know, prancing around the, the casino. But, yeah, the show was supposed to end. Uh, we ended one episode short. Uh, the writer strike happened, 
And we ended, that what happened? Yeah, and yeah. We, we ended up. Are never, you kidding we, me? We ended up never coming back. So it ended on a to be continued, and uh, never to be continued. Like, That's was right. there ever any talk? Like, even recently? Yeah. Well, they talk. Gary Scott Thompson talked about getting us all back together, but the problem is they tore the casino down like almost oh. immediately afterwards. <laughs> Come on. So unless we went and shot it. There's a billion it. casinos in Vegas. Yeah, we could have got, hey, I, we, we, believe me, we all would have been fine with going to Vegas and finishing yeah. the series, but <laughs> I had no idea that that happened. Yeah. The writer's strike happened and then the yeah. show just vanished. Yeah. Which, right. That's insane. <clears throat> That's insane. Uh, a show like this that, that you're in, were you a fan of cop shows growing up? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Who's your favorite cop? Who's your Rock, favorite TV cop? Rockford. James Garner. James Garner. Who's your favorite TV cop, Josh? Uh, Crockett. Uh, we were just oh, talking oh, about the... Yo, we are talking about Miami Vice this morning. <laughs> that was a pretty great show. <laughs> yeah, How do you know? Of course. Show. Oh, of course it's Crockett. <laughs> oh, of course it's Crockett. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, listen. If only, if only I could break out the pastel suit. <laughs> Solving crimes with my jaw <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> oh, man. Well, listen. Uh, Bow Creek is awesome. Congratulations, yeah. guys. Uh, it debuts again this Sunday, 10 o'clock on Global. Josh Jamal, Dean Winters, thank you guys so much for joining us thank on the Rise of Mocha Show.